If you want your chest looking like these three guys, Ronnie Coleman, Arnold, or Tom Platts, then this is the video which you want to see till the very end. What's up, guys? Welcome to another video at Movement Mechanics, and today I'm going to give you various exercises which are done by these legends so that you get a massive chest, and also some of my personal favorite exercises so that you can get that maximum chest muscular activation. So let's dive deep inside this topic and understand some movement mechanics. as always my favorite exercise which is the bench press now bench press is not only my personal favorite exercise but also one of the personal favorite exercise of ronnie coleman and arnold now this exercise is the best and the most fundamental upper body exercises which target your pectoralis major pectoralis minor your anterior deltoids everything so it helps in horizontal adduction and also get you that full chest activation so that you can build that massive chest now this exercise has to be done correctly now you need to have proper form and you need to have lots of shoulder stabilization in order to control that barbell when you are moving into concentric and eccentric muscle action make sure you are getting full benefits by utilizing the concept of time under tension which is tempo training when you are training exercises such as bench press next up is arnold's favorite exercise which is the dumbbell fly a dumbbell fly is a very safe exercise and you should do it on in your chest programs and i've made a thorough video on why dumbbell flies are safe and how you should do the proper dumbbell fly to get maximum benefits from the exercise now arnold loves this exercise because he says that he gets the maximum stretch of that eccentric muscle action of the dumbbell fly and hence you should also uh, do the dumbbell fly during your chest training days so if you are doing to do the dumbbell fly do watch the video which are which you can see in the i button and after that only you can do that dumbbell fly next up is the inclined chest press it can be done with the barbell or it can be done with the dumbbell in this case i'm doing it with the dumbbells over here now all the three legends mentioned in this video or any other bodybuilding legends or any other athletes who are doing chest day they are going to have either an inclined bench press or an inclined dumbbell press because this is an exercise which is going to target your upper pectoralis major muscles and these muscle fibers are extremely critical for having that balance between your entire chest the lower chest the medial chest and the upper uh, pectoralis major muscle fibers so make sure you have got this exercise all the time whenever you are doing your uh, chest days and also it is roni coleman's favorite exercise and that's the reason I've, i include this exercise in my training programs whether i'm doing it by myself or i'm prescribing someone an upper body strength training programs when we talk about the weight rooms we should never neglect body weight exercises and when we are talking about the chest muscle we should always have the push up in our training programs now push up is a very good fundamental body weight exercise and close chain exercise and it has to have a very thorough place in your training programs you can always pair the push up with uh, any of the exercises mentioned in this video to create a compound set so that you get maximum pectoralis major activation you can do variations of the push up may it be a normal push up which i am doing in this video or made by inclined push up or a declined push up so that you get different different areas of the chest muscle activated now we have seen all the fundamental exercises the bench dumbbell press the flies the push ups but this exercise is one of the best exercise in order to get that muscle pump and full pectoralis major or the chest muscle activation now nowadays all the athletes and bodybuilders are running towards the muscle pump they want that pump after their training session now if you do this exercise at the end of your training session then you are going to get maximum amount of muscle pump so this exercise is basically an plate trip exercise now you have to squeeze a small plate made by 2.5 kg plate or a 1 kg plate doesn't matter just squeeze the plate with both of your hands and perform the eccentric and concentric muscle action so that you get maximum pectoralis major activation now this is going to activate the lateral aspects that is the insertion aspects of your pec major and you are going to get the full engagement of the chest muscle as well with this exercise now once you get that full engagement that means you are going to have muscle pump your chest is going to get pumped up and before you finish that workout if you do this exercise of course with all the other exercises mentioned in this video you are going to have a very good looking chest at the end of the workout all right guys these were the various exercises which are going to give you a massive chest now some of these exercises are inspired from legends like ronnie coleman arnold or tom platts and some of these are my favorite exercises for example the plate trip or the push up or the isometric single arm chest press now these are my favorite exercises and i personally give them to the athletes not bodybuilders but professional athletes who are seeking athleticism and improve their performance in their respective sports now that doesn't mean that a bench doesn't have a, a place in in athletic training programs it has got its own place and you should program 
a bench press if you are training a professional athlete. It is the sets and the repetition scheme which has to be varying when you are talking about bodybuilding exercises and your athletic exercises. It, it's not the exercises. So we have to vary that which exercises are suitable for both of the baskets. But it is the repetition and the set scheme as I've mentioned before as well are going to vary and give you that benefits which are necessary for your adaptation. So make sure that your goal is very clear and based on that goal you are prescribing the sets and the repetition scheme for the athletes or the bodybuilders you are working with. On that note guys, if you have loved this video, make sure you hit the like share the subscribe as well as the notification bell icon so that you never miss a video whenever i'm uploading a new one also if you have any doubts or comments regarding this video or any other video which want to come in the future make sure to drop that in the comment section all right guys see you in the next one